English shorthand, 100 words per minute. Be ready, start. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin with a cheering note of encouraging performance by the Indian economy. The industrial growth rate is increasing and despite three successive weak monsoons, the food situation remains comfortable. Inflation is under control and in the recent past, the trade deficit has also been showing a downward trend. Since my address last year, there have been some encouraging developments in the sphere of banking. Of these, what strikes me first is the landmark reach when the level of deposits of the banking system crossed rupees 100,000 crore, mark by the end of the year. I should be our constant endeavor to keep up the momentum. During the year, the pace of branch expansion slowed down considerably. This is mainly due to the fact that the Reserve Bank of India could not issue new licenses as the task of identifying the centers in deficit rural areas of each block as per the branch licensing policy for the period could not be completed during the year. Regrouping and consolidation of some of the foreign offices of Indian banks was undertaken during the year with a view to strengthening their operations. One of the redeeming features of the banking system's performance during the year was the attainment of all targets and sub-targets in the area of priority sector financing. It gives me great pleasure to note that in the crucial area of profitability, banking industry has turned a new leaf. For the two consecutive years, it has recorded higher profits. I would, however, like to add that higher profits during the past two years may largely be attributable to such factors as a conscious effort on the part of banks towards better funds management, rationalization of service charges, enlargement of capital base of the banks by the government of India. The Reserve Bank of India had also taken certain vital measures to augment banks' earning capacity of which I have made mention of in my last year's speech. Over and above, the contributions made by the government to step up banks' capital base during the last year, the government made additional contributions towards the share capital of the public sector banks. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the government for its continued support of the banks in enlarging their capital base. Let me emphasize that apart from boosting their capital base, this measure has helped the banks earn a return of 10%. 
while higher capital base will enhance the image of indian banks in the eyes of the international banking community higher profits have enabled the banks to strengthen their reserve position and pay higher dividends to the government while taking note of this encouraging development i would like to emphasize that this should not generate a feeling of complacency as i mentioned earlier the significant improvement in the profitability of the banks during past two years was largely due to certain positive measures mentioned earlier by me but let me sound a note of caution that such a happy marriage between our own initiatives and policy induced measures of the monetary authorities may not continue unhindered for long this year having been designated as the year of the customer concerted efforts were made to further improve the range and quality of services rendered to the customers a new range of schemes and services covering deposits credit cards and financing facilities was added during the year keeping in view the varied needs of the cross section of the banking public at the branch level teller counters may i help you counters quality circles and branch level at customer service groups were further strengthened in different banks the banks also laid adequate stress on the observance of a customers day every month for facilitating interface of members of the public having grievances against the functioning of the banks with top level executives of the banks at the industry level while the joint publicity committee of the public sector banks continued its effort to disseminate banking related information to the banking public the customer service centers already established in major cities geared up their functioning towards ensuring better redressal of customer complaints dear sir we are extremely sorry to know from your letter dated third instant that you did not receive the goods in time we regret for the inconvenience caused to you we wish to inform you that we had dispatched the goods in the second week itself through your transport company in accordance with your request soon after the receipt of your above letter we made enquiries with your transport company and come to know that the goods were misplaced in the packing department in view of this you were not able to get the goods in time therefore you may please check up and issue suitable instructions to your transport company not to commit such mistakes in future
we on our side also have cautioned them not to repeat such things in future we are happy to know that there is good demand for our products in the market the consumer satisfaction is our main motto we give meticulous care at all levels of manufacture our products are approved by the quality control unit of central government we thank you for your further orders but we are sorry to inform you that the goods now ordered by you are not readily available in the stock due to acute shortage of power we are unable to run the factory around the clock as such we are working only in two shifts further there is high rise in the pr price of raw materials the cost of labor has also doubled hence we are forced to increase the price of our goods the new price list is also enclosed therefore we will be able to supply the goods by the end of next month so please let us know your acceptance or otherwise by written of post thanking you yours truly